All right, first pie guy here. I'm going to show you how to install virtual radar server on a uh, Raspberry Pi, or basically, I guess, any uh, Linux machine. Now, I'm running a uh, Atomic Pi for this video, and it's uh, it has uh, Linux Mint installed. So the first thing we need to do is install the Mono Complete, which is a uh, pretty big file. It'll take a little bit for it to install, depending on uh, your uh, software, I mean your hardware. So we're going to let this install. And as you can see, take up a little room, but nothing bad. So we're just going to click yes and let that run. And as you can see, it's installing. Then uh, we're going to go ahead and make a directory then and uh, download the uh, VRS. Then we will probably run into a uh, issue with the uh, mono, but uh, there's a uh, fix for that. So we'll uh, do that so it fixes that problem. All right, so this is about done. So we'll let it finish up here. All right, so now that that's installed, let's go ahead and clear that. Then we're just going to make a directory here. I'll just call it VRS, but you can name it whatever you feel. So we're just going to CD into that guy. Then run a few wget commands here and download the uh, VRS. We're going to download the plugin. And we are going to download the uh, language pack. So now that that's done, we can go ahead and tar these guys okay now let's do the same thing with that one and we'll do the same thing with that guy all right so now if we run this we're going to get a error message so what we are going to do is, <clears throat> if we do an ls, as you can see, we got a bunch of files here. So what we are going to do is, let me go ahead and clear that so it's a little easier to see. We're going to do a nano. Then we are going to make the following config file. Then we are going to paste in the following. Now I'll throw a link in the uh, description to my website for this. Then we're going to do a control X, Y, and enter if you're using nano. <clears throat> so the last thing we need to do is set up a username and password. So now that went ahead and did that, but we can, we're going to press the Q to quit because I wanted to change it. But this will be the thing, the, the uh, command here, then we can just back up make your password whatever you feel like and uh, your username so we can just do test test <clears throat> and as you can see now it's starting the web server start the plugins so now if we go to this uh, URL here let me bring up a browser 
Okay, so since we have our uh, username and password set up, we don't need to run. Uh, let me get back here to it. We don't need to run our big command here. We could just run here, no GUI. Then when we do that, it will come up. And right there's your address. Now I'm running 8181 because I have another software running on this uh, Atomic Pod that I didn't even think about that uh, uses 8080. Uh, <clears throat> so I changed it to uh, 8181. But normally if you're feeding data into it from like FlightAware or whatever, dump 1090, the default port is uh, 8080. But anyway, this will come up like that with your map and whatnot. But obviously, this is the non GUI, and nothing is set up uh, in here or actually set up under the uh, the actual uh, GUI way of doing it. So. Here I'm VNC'd into my uh, computer. And let's see here. If we find anything. What we can do is let me stop that. Because we don't really need to do that that way. We can do it this way so let me cd into my uh, directory here then we are going to go ahead and type in the following hit enter and that should load up vrs and this is what you'll need to set up your uh, vrs software to uh to be able to see the planes and all on the uh, map. Now I do have another uh, video on my YouTube channel that goes more in depth than that. So what I'll do is I'll throw a link in the description to my website stuff, which will have that link also for that uh, video. So hopefully that really helps you out. But I just wanted to really make this video just to show how to install it on a Linux operating system so hopefully this helps out uh thanks for watching stay tuned for another one and don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe